here. Welcome to this month's episode of OPP Other People's Projects. Woo! I have uh, quite a few neato projects to share with you and I suppose we could just get started. The first project is from Pat Hurt and it is this King of Kings Intarsia and it is an original design. The Crown of Thorns has 26 vine pieces and 27 thorns. And the woods that were used are walnut, yellow heart, and Pat thinks bloodwood. Pat's brother-in-law supplied the walnut and the bloodwood, and they're both unsure if it's bloodwood or not. And I personally think it looks like purple heart. I don't know what all of you think out there, but it's pretty nonetheless. Anyway, the finish that's on this project is Minwax Spray Lacquer. And it's beautiful, Pat. Thanks for sharing that with us. These next couple of projects are from Kurt Tuttle. This first one here is the eagle on the flag, and he said he used a router to route out the eagle and those stars. This hunting sign he made, he used pallet wood, and then he routed out all the lettering and that buck up there. And this last one is this flag that's a USA shape, and he said that he got this shape of the USA from a Rand McNally road atlas. Very cool. And he said he routed in those stars and then he burned them a little bit to give it a distressed look. Those are pretty neat projects, Kurt. Thanks for sharing them with us. These next couple of projects are from Humphrey Dunn. And this first one is a sun that he made. And this is a Judy Gale Roberts pattern. And a, a while back he made a moon. And so he made the sun to go along with the moon. He said it's a classroom in a tube pattern and he says that it's, it comes with a great instructional booklet and a whole bunch of tips from Judy and she just walks you right along as you make the project. I have a couple of those which I haven't gotten to yet. Ooh, yay! The woody he used is Flame Box Elder, which he says is pretty cool because it changes in appearance depending on the light and how the light is bouncing off of it. And he said that the eyes are ebony and poplar. This next project of his is also a Judy Gale Roberts pattern, and he says the pumpkin is Spanish cedar and the crow is thermally modified ash. And then he added that that smells wonderful. And so I was curious and I'm like, I, I wanna know what you mean by it smells wonderful. What does it smell like? So he said it's a very rich and smoky smell, something you might get from aged cheese. That's so interesting. And it's the crow, so that means it's real, real black like that. So uh, I'm curious, is it as dense as ebony? Because ebony is dense and hard to, hard to cut, but it looks like ebony there. So uh, yeah, let me know. And the other woods he used in this project are aspen, poplar, walnut, ebony, western red cedar, and mahogany. So thanks for sharing those with us, Humphrey. And anybody else that's used thermally modified ash in a project, uh, let me know in the comments. But thanks for sharing those with us, Humphrey. This next project is from Lydia Borman, and she is our missionary friend that lives in Mexico. And she's actually from Ecuador, and we, we know the whole family, and it's just really cool. So Lydia woodburned this tiger onto this chair for one of her siblings, and it looks to me like a saber-toothed tiger, but it's a, it's a tiger for sure. And isn't it awesome? Good job burning that, Lydia. And thanks for letting me share it. This next project is from Paul Crevenia, and he lives in Bolaris. Uh, I think I say that right, but I probably don't. But anyway, he lives in Bolaris. <laughs> and he made this turtle, and he said the woods he used are pine, oak, cherry, and alder. And that's all the info I have about it, but that's pretty cool, Paul. Thanks so much for letting me share that. This next project is from Mark Charman, and it's an Antarja dog. So Mark lives in Australia, and he says that about three years ago, he learned about intarsia. I think he said he was watching one of my videos. Anyway, he wanted to get into it, so he saved up money and he got a scroll saw. And he said that it's really hard to get wood, and so instead of waiting until he could get wood, he had MDF on hand, so he just tried his hand at intarsia using MDF. And a few of the pieces he painted so just to give it, you know, some different colors. And then he framed it all and he put some little hooks on there, like for keys or something. 
So good job, Mark. Your first intarsia, awesome. And I hope that you do find and get some wood. But thanks so much for sharing that with us. This next project is from Melanie Boone, and it is a knife that she restored. And this knife has a lot of sentimental value because it's a knife that her husband's mother used in the kitchen. And now her sister-in-law has the knife, and it's in, it was just in bad shape. So Mel went and she repaired it for her sister-in-law. She says that the handle was all taped together, and when they took it all apart, it was all rusty underneath, like you can see here. Then her husband used a grinder on that handle part to get rid of all of the rust and pitting. And then Mel worked on sharpening the blade. And she said, well, we, you know, we could have bought a new blade for it, but the blade, you know, that's the sentimental part since the handle was, was all deteriorated. So they wanted to keep the original blade. So Mel worked on sharpening that blade, and then she made a new handle using babinga. Once the handle was all together, then she put in three brass pins. And now her sister-in-law is cherishing this knife that her mother once cherished. So thanks for sharing that with us, Mel. Pretty cool. And that concludes this month's episode of OPP. So thanks everybody who shared a project and thanks everybody who watched. I hope that everybody got inspired to get out there and make something. If you have a project that you would like me to share on OPP, please send me an email and put in the subject line OPP. Tell me a little bit about the project and I would love to share it. So everybody enjoy the beginnings of fall and the cold weather coming and we'll see you next time. Bye! Hey y'all, Sai here. And Molly! 